Hi everybody! Today is December... What is the day? December 6th! <laughs> it has been a crazy Christmas season. But we have been doing so many things. But what I, my favorite part about what we have been doing has been got to Ben are these Christmas blocks, our Advent blocks. And all the things that we've been learning about and talking about in God's love story to his people. So today is December 6th. So let's go ahead and find our December 6th block. I'm trying to find it for me. I think this is the one. Yep, that's the one. December 6th. I'm going to put it right over here. Everybody able to see. I'm going to put the star on it. So that's what we're talking about today. December 6th. And let's review what we have learned so far. Think about how God started off our, this world with his love and how this is, Christmas is his love story to his world. Think about how it all began with Adam and Eve and then how God had to start over again with Noah and his family. And then how God gave Abraham a pretty crazy promise and how God was with Hagar in the desert when she was crying and how God was with Leah and we talk about how God picks people that we don't always think would be the people God picks. Well, today, we're going to talk about a dreamer, when God gives us dreams. Let's see. Abraham, we learned, had a son named Isaac. And Isaac had two sons. Remember, a son named Jacob. And then Jacob had 12 sons. <laughs> Could you imagine if you had 11 Brothers, is it like, could you imagine if you had Nick 11 times? That would be, <laughs> would be a very, very noisy house for sure. <laughs> but it'd be a lot of fun though. You always have somebody to play with. Always have somebody to ride bikes with. It would always be somebody, right? But what if you had 11 brothers? What would you do? Well, I think Joseph was pretty lucky have all those brothers but he didn't realize it and Jacob didn't realize it Jacob liked Joseph the best so Joseph was Jacob's favorite son you think it's a good idea for a parent to have a favorite kid no it's not a good idea but Joseph was Jacob's favorite and Jacob treated Joseph better than he treated all the other boys he gave Joseph presents all the time in fact, his favorite present was a fancy robe that was like rainbow colored. And everybody who saw it knew that Joseph was the favorite. And it made Joseph feel very special. But how do you think it made Joseph's brothers feel? Pretty upset, right? Yeah, that would make me upset. Well, let's go ahead and turn our block around. You can take a look at it. Let's see what it says. Look at that. It is a coat. That's Joseph's fancy coat that Jacob gave him. There we go. Well, on top of the fancy coat that Jacob gave him, God had given Joseph special dreams and a special gift to be able to interpret the dreams. That means translate. That means understand what God is trying to say about the dream and through the dream. So this made Joseph's brothers even more angry because they didn't have that special gift from God. So they started to hate Joseph. And one day, they decided to put an end to Joseph and his dreams and his rainbow robe. And they attacked him. Joseph brothers attacked him. They tore off his robe and they sold him as a slave to the, pe to, to the people in Egypt. Well, they sold him actually to um, the people that were just traveling by. They didn't even know where he was going to end up. They were just travelers just drive just walking by and they just said here take our brother you can give us some money that was it that was it they just said here you can have a servant and they told their father Jacob that Joseph was dead and they they ripped up his coat and they said a wild animal had eaten him but that, is that really what happened no that is not what happened but Jacob didn't know what really happened to his son and meanwhile, Jacob was taken, I mean, Joseph was taken all the way to Egypt, where he became a slave. But it got even worse. Then, after being a slave and working really hard, and God blessing him there, and him doing, and everybody liked him, 
Then it got worse. Joseph was blamed for something that he didn't do. And he ended up in prison. But then, after working really hard and God still blessing him, why do you think God blessed him? He was, he was working hard. Well, maybe because he was working hard, but I think it was because he trusted God. He trusted God. See, we can work really hard all the time, but that's not, if we're not trusting in God, we're not going to be able to do a very good job. Our only job, our biggest job, is to obey and trust what God tells us to do, right? So that's what Joseph did. So he went from being a slave, but he trusted God, so everybody liked him. And then he was in jail, but he still trusted God, and so he worked really hard, and everybody liked him. In fact, he got put in charge of a lot of the things in the jail, even though he was still a prisoner in the jail. But then it got worse again. God used a dream to tell Joseph that one of his fellow prisoners was going to be freed, which was good. But the, the, the prisoner was freed. He went up to Pharaoh to keep, keep working again. He forgot all about Joseph. Who's going to get Joseph out of jail? See, we thought that this was that his prisoner friend that was freed. God used a dream. Yay, he got to be free. Poor Joseph is still in jail. For years, Joseph sat alone in prison. But did he forget about God? No. Did God forget about him? No. Not at all. God, he wasn't alone. God was with Joseph. Even when it was hard, even when his brothers sold him, even when he was thrown into prison, even when he was forgotten, God had not forgotten him. God was with him the whole time. In fact, God was going to use Joseph to save his family. God was going to use Joseph to save the whole world. That's the cool part. So, a little bit later, a lot later, God gave the king of Egypt, what do we call the king of Egypt? Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Yes, the king of Egypt was called Pharaoh. And God gave Pharaoh a confusing and scary dream. And one of his servants, the same guy who had been in prison with Joseph, Remembered, was like, wait a minute, I know a guy who knows how to interpret dreams. He remembered Joseph, yes. So, Joseph, he ran to go get Joseph. Joseph came out of prison after all that time, and he's meeting with the king. He met with Pharaoh, and he explained to the, to the king, he said, I don't know what it says, what the dream means, but God knows what the dream means. And here's what God told me. And so Joseph explained to Pharaoh that there would be a famine. That means that, like, no rain and no food for a very long time. So people would not have enough food. And the king put Joseph in charge of making sure that the people would have enough food. Isn't that crazy? So Joseph went from being a prisoner, meeting with the king. Now he's in charge of all of Egypt to make sure that they are ready for when the famine comes. Joseph became a prince. I know, isn't that cool? Well, the famine did come. But because God spoke to Joseph, because Joseph still worked hard, still trusted in God, then the people in Egypt had food. In fact, they had so much food, they were able to sell their other, sell, sell the extra food to people that didn't live in Egypt. Wow. The famine back home, where Joseph's family came from, it was really bad there, too. Well, Joseph's brothers were starving, and their families, they said, you know what? We heard in Egypt they had food. Let's go see if we can go buy some food from the people in Egypt. But who was in Egypt? Joseph. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so wouldn't you know it? They came to Egypt and they knelt down before, right in front of Joseph. Could you imagine? But they didn't recognize him. They didn't even know who it was. Do you think Joseph recognized them? Oh yes, he did. Well, here was, here was, here was Joseph's choice. He could say, well, my brothers are really mean to me. They wanted to get rid of me. I'm going to get rid of them. He could have done that. He had that much power. 
You think that's what he did? It's not. See, God had picked Joseph to save the world, to save his family. Well, Joseph recognized his brothers and he couldn't help it. He started crying and he was so happy. And he hugged them. He made them come and he said, brothers, come closer. Don't you see? It's me, Joseph. What do you think his brothers started to, they were starting to think when they realized it was Joseph? Like, I know, like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Because they knew Joseph had that much power. He could have just off with their heads. But he didn't do that. They were scared. And Joseph saw that they were scared. Because they thought he, he was going to get revenge on them for being so mean. But he said, don't be scared. Don't be scared. I know you, 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 you are, but you don't have to be. He said, you wanted to hurt me. But God had other plans. Good plans. Abby, all of God's plans for you are good plans. Even when we don't see it, when we're in the middle of it. Like, do you think that when when Joseph was being sold by his brothers, he thought that God had a good plan? I don't think so. Do you think when Joseph was in jail, he thought God had a good plan? No. But guess what? God still had a plan. Just because Joseph didn't see it. And Joseph still trusted in God. And he said, God had a good plan. And it was. Because look what happened. He said, you thought I was gone and alone, but God was with me the whole time. He sent me here to Egypt to save us all. Joseph and his brothers rejoiced because God had saved them. God was making the wrong things right and the dark things light. So together, they all moved to Egypt where there was food and where their whole family was and could be. And their family grew and grew. Joseph grew even older. He got older and older. Well, before Joseph died, he told his family, God has been faithful to us and he saved us. But Egypt isn't our home. Promise me that our children and our children's children won't stay here. Promise me that we will go back to where God wanted us to live, that we will still follow God. So he said, promise, we're still going to follow God. Well, they didn't. They stayed in Egypt because it was comfortable. It was easy to stay in Egypt. There was food and there was places to live and they, they got comfortable. Well, the longer they stayed in Egypt, the further away God seemed. As they stayed in Egypt, God seemed far away. So all of Joseph's children began to hope and to pray, God, will you come back to stay? Well, just like how Joseph knew that God was with him, even when he felt like he was alone, we know that God is with us even when we feel like we're alone. And that's my favorite part of Christmas, seeing how God is going to show us that he is God with us. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Bye.